Hey, preschool parents. I'm so glad you're joining us today for our um, parents time on Thursdays. Um, we just took a few minutes to recap what your kiddos learned last week in preschool and um, give you some encouragement just to uh, continue our partnership at home um, for the faith life of and the faith, faith walk of your little ones. And so let me jump in and kind of tell you what we've been talking about. So our heart print, which is like our theme is uh, for a better word, um, our theme for the month of April in preschool is knowing Jesus changes me. And um, so, of course, we kicked off the month with the death and resurrection um, on Easter Sunday. That was the first Sunday. And so we've been talking about different components of that and jumping around in the story a little bit about how either knowing Jesus before his death or after his death and resurrection changed certain people. And so for this week, uh, Miss Nancy taught us about um Saul and uh, of course we all know later his name was changed to Paul and he was one of the most influential um apostles uh, disciples of Jesus and um really went on to um help uh, found and form what we know as you know our Christian um uh, faith and the church and so um Saul was a very important character but as we told the kids on Sunday Saul was kind of a bully uh, when when Jesus first met him and um, he uh, humbled him a little bit by blinding him and um, making him very reliant on the kindness of others. And so um, this was at a time when he was really um, against Jesus and his disciples. He was actually trying to hunt down uh, Jesus' disciples and, um, you know, really, really was an enemy uh, uh, of Christ at the time. And so um, Saul met Jesus on the road to Damascus, and that is where he was changed. Jesus, um, you know, the Lord blinded him and, um, like I said, really made him reliant on the kindness of others to teach him that lesson. And, of course, um, we know the kids had fun learning the names Ananias and um, Barnabas. Uh, those aren't easy names. You don't hear those very often in the modern world. So we um, learned those names during the lesson. Um and they, they showed kindness and mercy to Saul and helped him. And uh, the disciples realized that Saul um, really did believe that Jesus was the Messiah and the Christ. And they um, brought him into their fold. And um, Saul left the rest of his life behind. And it, like I said, um, uh, more wisdom, of course, came um, through the disciples to help uh, save Saul and uh, bring him over to the good side. Uh, to the to the light and um, and we know this was just the beginning this was the very very beginning of of Saul's story uh, later of course his name is changed to Paul and we know that he wrote most of the um, New Testament in the Bible um, which of course is very influential in our faith walk uh, today and um, Paul is in many many of the stories that we tell uh, your preschoolers I I'm sorry Paul as the character Paul but um, beginning as Saul um, that was a little bit confusing to teach teach to the kids that Saul becomes Paul um, with his name change. Uh, but anyway, a beautiful story about how, you know, literally God can, can change you. And he did change Saul. He changed his heart completely for the Lord. And like I said, just became such an instrumental part of what we know today as the Christian faith. And so very um, grateful and blessed. Um, uh, you know, to have to have this knowledge and this um, story to share uh, with um, with our little ones, and um, so we just encourage you to uh, reiterate that story at home. How um, knowing Jesus changed Saul, and knowing Jesus can change us too. Um, many of us have experienced that change. If you haven't, I encourage you to um, talk to somebody about that. Any one of us would love to talk to you about that, um, and just encourage you to. Continue to encourage your little one towards that day um, someday. We know it's not quite time for them just yet. They need to have a full understanding of what they're accepting, but we're laying the foundation. That's a great story of foundation laying um, for your preschoolers. Uh, attached to this um, video and this uh, Facebook post are going to be um, some links. You'll be able to link in um, to our uh, lesson and some activities and crafts that you can do at home. Um, you can also go on our YouTube, our Sea Life Preschool YouTube page. You'll find our um, the full lesson there if you want to play it again at home. You can also, within that lesson, you would find our memory verse 
and our uh, song. And we do that four weeks in a row each month. Um, repetition is really great for preschoolers. So uh, we are learning, um, I wanna be sure I get it right here, uh, John eleven twenty five, 25, which says, Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. And we do little motions with it. So all we do is we say, Jesus said, and we point up because that's where Jesus is. Jesus said, I am the resurrection. It's just like two little legs coming from below ground to above ground. So I am the res so resurrection and life. We just make two L's and we put them in our hips and then our shoulders and the life. So it's Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. And then we always make a Bible with our hands and it's John eleven twenty five. 25. And so if you'd like to practice that at home, we would love for you to do that. Hey, send us videos. If you have a kiddo um, that knows his verse well, send them to your um, preschool uh, director at your campus. We love to get videos of our little ones practicing that at home. It's always so fun. Anyway, thank you for your partnership with us. We love being part of your child's faith walk. Uh, please reach out to any of us if there's ever anything we can do for your family, big or small. We're here for you. We love you guys. We pray for you every week. And I look forward to seeing you on Sunday. Keep in mind that uh, reservations are no, more, no longer necessary. So, hey, come to church. We'd love to see you on Sundays. And we um, are praying for you and just hoping that you're having a really, really blessed week. And we will see you soon. Take care.